Hey everybody, I'm Greg McHale and I want to talk about a boot that I've used this past season fairly extensively. Now, those of you who do know how I hunt, a lot of really steep mountain hunts are kind of my go-to, but often I'm in the lower country, whether it's caribou, moose, um, just not really, really steep, rugged terrain like sheep and goats live in. So I'm always looking for another boot that is gonna fit the bill that really takes care of most of my hunting season. And that's why I wanna talk about this boot from Zomberlin. It's the 4014 Lynx uh, with the BOA lacing system. Now this boot, um, it looks a little bit uh, off color maybe because there's a, it was covered in blood at one point this season. But um, yeah, this boot, I just wanna talk, I'm not gonna talk about technicalities of the, of the boot. I'm just gonna talk about how it worked for me. Um, one thing I really liked about, if you start from the sole, is that it didn't gather mud. It really shed mud really well. Um, was good and solid in wet conditions on the rocks. I would say, um, yeah, it really, it performed as good as I would expect it to or would like it to in those kind of conditions. I used it a lot for moose hunting this year as well as caribou. Um, and I think it was for the, you know, the weight of this boot is fantastic. Um, nice lightweight boot that you can really move around in. And it was just, um, just really performed great in those conditions for me. Waterproof with the Gore-Tex is fantastic. The, and then the lacing system, super tight. It really worked well. It, uh, it holds your ankle in place. In fact, once this past season, um, I was on a moose hunt and I had a long trek to head back from, to the airplane. And I had a super light pack on and it was almost like adventure racing style where I could do a lot of running. So I brought a pair of running shoes. And in fact, I had these in my backpack at the same time. So while I uh, was on this trek back, I was running and I came off of a river bank, stepped through some tall grass and rolled my ankle. Immediately I had known that, um, that I tore ligaments in my ankle and luckily for me, I was by myself, but luckily for me, I had these boots in my pack. I threw the boot on, strapped it up as tight as I could immediately before my wet ankle started to swell. And it, uh, the next 5K, um, it took me a while to do it, but without these boots, it would have been um, a very, very difficult thing to have accomplished to get back to the plane and then get out of there. Um, Wow, holy, got my boots changed up from my shoes to my boots, most comfortable way to walk is kind of with my left ankle pronated out, but I think I'm moving pretty good, well, you don't have a choice. Um, so really this boot, uh, I think the performance of it, and that goes to speak, is that it's light enough that I had no problem putting it in my pack and, and running. So luckily I had it with me, held my ankle, great support all the way through that trek. So a lot of really good things about, about this boot that I like. Um, the rubber toe, lacing system, waterproofness, the mud doesn't stick to outside here. This leather is performs really well that way. Sold did a great job. So I give this, you know, top marks for the boot that it is for the conditions that I used it in. And you should check it out. So that's the 4014 BOA, um, the Lynx. And great boot. If you're looking for an all-rounder, this is absolutely one you should take a look at.